Good evening. As most of you know, my name is Barb Ushold Anderson, pastoral minister here at St. Joseph's. On behalf of St. Joseph of the Lakes Parish Community and Deacon Tom, I want to welcome you here, you who are here present. We had a bit of a delay. We hoped that we would record this evening. Um, sometimes technology has a mind of its own, and so perhaps it won't be recorded this evening. And we pray especially uh, extra hard with those who may have planned to join us virtually. And um, tonight, it's a privilege for us to be with you. I know that I have journeyed with some of you as we celebrated the lives of some very special people in our hearts. As we come together as a community in prayer, may we be a source of strength and hope for one another in our shared experience of grief and loss. Our church teaches us that our beloved dead are counted among the communion of saints, and we acknowledge that those we love are still very present to us. We remember them in a special way here in our prayer. And so let us begin by lifting our hearts in prayer to our God as we stand together and sing, Be Not Afraid. Yes. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be always with you. And with your spirit. And let us pray. God, our Creator and Redeemer, by your power, Christ conquered death and returned to you in glory. May all people who have gone before us in faith share his victory and enjoy the vision of your glory forever. <clears throat> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Let us pray. Shepherd us, O God. Hear us as we call upon you in our need. Be strength for our weary souls. Be our comfort and hope so we may praise you all the days that we live. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are at peace. For if to others, indeed, they seemed punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, God proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, He took them to himself. They shall shine and dart about as sparks through stubble. Those who trust in God shall understand truth. The faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. From early church beginnings, Christians have cherished the memory of those who have died or were martyred for their faith as icons, disciples, imitators of Jesus Christ. All saints are celebrated each year on November 1st, and in most traditions, honor, most Christian traditions, honoring the dead are linked with All Souls Day on November 2nd. And on this evening, we remember our own loved ones who have gone before us in faith. These tributes extend far beyond the day itself and the month of all souls, November. In fact, if we are truly caring for our grieving selves, ourselves who have lost loved ones, who have experienced a change because of their loss, our remembrance and healing extends into every day of our life. And we allow our faith in God to embrace the belief that they are now in the hand of God and at peace and counted among the holy men and women who have gone before us. Father Ron Rollheiser, author, professor, theologian, offers this thought and reflection. To believe in the holy men and women of God, the communion of saints, is also to believe we can still tend to unfinished business in our relationships, even after death. Simply put, we can still talk to those who have died, and we can even now say the words of love, forgiveness, gratitude, and regret that ideally we would have spoken earlier. Indeed, Inside the communion of saints, the reconciliation that may have eluded us while that person was alive can now more easily take place. 
Often when I have had the opportunity to share prayer at service or graveside, I encourage those who are in attendance to be sure to continue to share the stories and memories of their loved one who has died, for it is important. It's an important part of our grieving and our process of remembering. This morning I sang at my home parish. The person that accompanied played an instrumental piece at the preparation of the table. And it happened to be by this friend whom I share a bit about today. He died about 25 years ago and I was remembering the last time I spent quality time with him. His debilitating disease had caused him to lose his eyesight. Yet, this amazingly talented musician still was able to play his beloved piano. He taught me about some other gifts he possessed that day. He taught me that day how as a sighted person, I could be with him, walking in front of him and leading him, telling him when our food arrived at the restaurant that his sandwich was at 6 p.m. on his plate and the soup was to the side at 3 p.m. He wasn't afraid. He had embraced his life in its fullness. He had embraced the life that he knew, that he knew he was losing. And with faith, he walked in peace towards Jesus. I thank Rich for showing me that gift. The days are now just about at their darkest. Crops we know have been harvested. Leaves have changed their colors and most have almost started or are on the ground. The weather is beginning to turn colder and soon we'll probably have that first measurable snow. And this season, this month, our readings in the liturgy direct our thoughts to the end times when Christ will return in his full glory, restoring the fullness of salvation to all of creation, reminding us that the souls of our dear ones are in the hand of God. It's a perfect time to remember our beloved dead. This practice provides us, the living, with an opportunity for healing and consolation in the face of grief and loss. It provides us also with an opportunity to continue to let our loved ones shine brightly, sharing memories of them, their ability to care for the sick, even in the midst of their own health challenges their strong commitment to the white earth community and ministry, their love of almost every type of music, muscle cars, the enjoyment of sharing a teasing joke, the love of the outdoors, photography, spending time at the lake, fishing, playing cards with dear friends, always looking for ways to improve on something, biking, serving, perhaps at loaves and fishes. It's a continued time of remembering, for it is in the memories we share the stories of our loved one, their wit, their ability to stay positive in the face of challenges, their belief and our belief in our Savior and loving God. It's in these memories that they continue to shine in our hearts and shine throughout our lives.
remember those from our parish community and so many others who have died this past year. As we read the name of your loved one and the bell tolls, we invite you, your family, friends, to stand and raise your candle up in a gesture of remembrance. O wondrous God of endless compassion, we remember those we love who have gone home to you. We rejoice in the goodness of their lives among us, in the time we spent by their sides, and in the memories that we will always treasure. We thank you for these dear ones. Be present, God, as we remember each of them tonight. Mother, father, husband, wife, daughter, son, sister, brother, family, friend. As we recall their names, let us remember the grace of your love which brought them into our lives and the gift of faith that promises we will once again be reunited with them in the light of eternity. Patrick Barrett. Charlene Livingston Rutz. Ken Schrofer. 
Rosa Selva. Audrey Foxley. Alfred Matheson. Vern Campa. Nancy Jenko Crispin. Cheryl Charlie Sheridan. We remember with love Ryan O'Brien Fern Adams Pat Chanel Vivian Husnick Bill Haskins Mark Willarius John Landers Francis Cuddebeck Kay Peterson Tom Kremen We remember with love. Rick Schmidt. Peggy Trast. Doug Burwalt. Margaret Rotter. Dale Hughes. Kenny Ross. Florine Rode. Harvey Carth. Patrick Frischman. Lisa Robin. We remember with love Sarah Cardoso Rosemary Zeck Mary Tromley Ken Kaiser Jenny Allen Chuck Medved Bob Blackinger Rita Burgess Ann Chesla Joanne Kohler Liz Krieger We remember with love John Mooney Karen Gashwell Mary Shrun Elizabeth Chamberlain 
Vera Heimerl. Margaret Ann Bible. Kayleen Browson. Marie Swenson. Mike Rath. Audrey Bull. Rodney Fry. Bill Frischman. We remember with love Sue Torson, Raymond Ernster, Sarah Jane Houston, Lisa Bolig, Vernon. Bacca. Jack Webster. Gerald Strang. Rick Zimmel. Matthias Rubish. Ginny Thompson, Karen Swalby, Kenny Chapeau, Greta Conkle, Tony Gardner. Yvonne Johnson. Warren Johnson. Jack Norman. I invite those who have lost a loved one in the past year and may not have had their name called, please stand in a silent gesture of remembrance and raise a candle if you have it. And pick up a candle as you leave tonight in remembrance of your loved one. Let us stand as we pray this litany. Our spoken response is, we remember them. In the rising of the sun and in its setting, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick of heart, 
we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us. We remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of the summer, we remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer of remembrance. May our brothers and sisters, whom you called your sons and daughters on earth, enter the kingdom of peace and light, where, you, where your saints live in glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I invite you to join your hearts and voices together as we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Together we have come to share a prayer of grief, memories, hope. As you leave, we invite you to take the candle with you to home as a remembrance of this evening prayer. If for some reason you did not pick a candle up for that one person, the loved one, we remembered this evening or in your heart, please do so on your way out. There should be a few more on the table. If there is any way that we can be of assistance to you as you travel this journey of loss and grief, please let us know. Deacon Tom, myself, are available to listen, to talk, and to offer support or share a referral if needed. And thank you all for coming tonight to pray together as a community of faith Know that our prayers are with you. Thank the, you. The Lord be with you. Please respond to this blessing three times by saying amen. In his great love, the God of all consolation gave us the gift of life. May he bless you with faith in the resurrection of his son and with the hope of rising to new life. Amen. To us who are alive, may he grant forgiveness, and to all who have died a place of light and peace. Amen. As you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, so may you live with him forever in joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the sure and certain hope of resurrection and reunion with those we love, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And please join us in singing City of God.
Thank you.